Hello guys. Welcome back to Sister Nonya's Corner. Guys, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready to do another massive food prepping. Yeah. So, I'll do it gradual by gradual. I'm not gonna finish today. I will continue tomorrow, but I will carry you along. Yes, this time I'm doing it for um, someone out of state. When I finish, like I did in the past, I will package them and store them in my freezer so that they will block before they travel to another state. <laughs> yes, if and they may add it all easy. You know what I mean? It's not easy, but Hey, with God, all things are possible. You can do it, no? Yeah? So follow me. Let's cook. Let's cook. Okay. I hope you are having an amazing day. I hope your day is going as planned. Don't let nothing bother you. Be positive. Okay. Let me show you all the ingredients and explain a little bit of all that I'm going to cook and we start cooking okay guys as usual here are all the ingredients i need guys it's a lot guys let's start with the black ip i'm gonna cook this make this black ip and i'll show you i'm gonna make a bono soup i'm gonna make a goosey soup this is my dry fish to go with it this is my uh, chicken the hen hot chicken okay we like the hot chicken in the soup otherwise it will be put up, put up. so it's a hot chicken and this person always requests white meat so this is a uh, beef tripe this is my pepper i have two small i uh, have another pepper they hot so all these things are the Red oil, the chicken uh, powder, uh, the lemon pepper, cayenne pepper, turmeric, and more. You can add as many time, curry, whatever you season your food with. You can add them. Okay, but let me explain here. Guys, this is a rare commodity. Oh, wow. Guys, I've soaked this. You're gonna soak it overnight so that it can come back to life. This comes from home. We always bring this from home. It's uh, in the family of um, breadfruit. You bring it dry, you dry it in the sun, and then they package it. When you come here, you have to soak it so that it will rise again before you cook it otherwise you cook it forever and it's not gonna get done so this is a special dish that is not here this is come from home okwa we call it okwa i don't know breadfruit but hey it's okwa i'll carry you along as i prepare it it's special okay so i will make that one i will make the beans they're all protein and we make these two kinds of soup. Okay? And so on. So let's get started. Come on with me. This is the pot when we're gonna start cooking. I wanna cook on two stoves already. This is a stock from the tripe. Okay. Let's get started. Okay, guys, let's add some onions. Onions, onions. Put the goosey on the. Sorry, the goosey on the. A bun. Gonna cook together.
do the blender, the bell pepper, and the crayfish. This one. So get in there. I'm gonna introduce um I'm gonna introduce a dry fish. Okay, okay. Let's keep cooking. Let's try to melt. Okay. You can do it some other way, some use um because I got this out from the freezer, it's cold, so that's why I'm doing this. With oil, some use um warm water to melt it. I don't know. I melt it with the liquid and the soup. But this way, I do it. I make sure that there's no lumps in the soup. I'll do this and I will reintroduce it in the soup. Okay. I took the soup down so I can do this. That's it. I will have to. Reintroduce it. Let's, let's go ahead and introduce the pussy. Unlike the other one, I did not fry it. Okay, the oil is in. Side. Okay, I want to go in. And the vegetable um, for the goosey, I am adding a spinach because it's softer. I like to use it for the goosey, and then I will add the cola for my uh, Obama. So, 
It says they go see soup. Almost ready, guys. Once it boils now, we we'll take it down. Okay. Let's cover and let it cook. Here we go. Do some vegetable for the one soup. Go ahead and introduce this tripe. And we put that over here. Wow, 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 wow. and it will be done guys I present to you the Igusi soup it's done okay we allow it to cool and we package then we cook our beans and our okwa okay I'm gonna Cut off the gas here. Ooh. Okay, guys. I present to you a kobono soup. It's done. I'll allow them to cool and we package. And we start cooking the beans and the okwa. Maybe the next day. Because your girl, your sister is tired right now. That's all I can do for today. Here is the obono soup. Okay. Okay, we're beginning to cook the beans. Let it boil for a while. We'll rinse off the, the water and then mix some sauce and dump everything in okay you will see okay yes, here is the rinsed uh, black ip i uh, boiled it and uh, i rinsed it so i'm gonna introduce you to this sauce making a sauce to make the sauce okay. is too much. and i'll combine it let me add some blended pepper, green pepper and red bell pepper, green bell pepper. There. The simmers, I will then add the beans and we cook until tender. Okay, it says the, everything combined with the beans. The sauce and the beans, so we will cook until it's tender. Okay. Okay. Here is the beans. It's on. Soft. Very soft. Allow it to cool, and then package. Okay, let's continue with cleaning this one. This is the next day. We're gonna clean it. Okay, clean. And then start boiling it. Okay, gonna clean it. Finish cleaning. I'm gonna put it in the pot when the water boils. But let me show you. This soup I went from like this the other day to like this. So it's soaked and then comes alive again. Comes uh, like fresh. But when we brought it, brought it in from Niger, this is what it looks like. 
okay if you go ahead and watch this one and start cooking guys you will cook forever so soak your okra overnight One ten, we have to must add to it to make sure that it tenderizes. This thing takes hours to cook. Stay yes. with me. This is potash, a kind of salt. This is what we use to tenderize uh, uh, this okwa. We call it a uh, account. Guys, there are so many people talking about account, uh, the health benefits, it affects the liver, it does that, it does that. But I've also read that FDA said uh, in small quantity, if used in small quantity, health risk is minimal. If we don't add this potash to this okra, guys, we cook this thing forever. It will not tenderize. This makes a huge difference. People say they cook it in pressure cooker. That's fine if it tenderizes it for you, but it don't taste the same. I know back home we use um, palm uh, leaves, the potash from there, the, the ash, and we got the same effect. So I'm going to add this quantity to this okra. Let me not preach. I'm not um, <laughs> Uh, medical expert to say that but hey they think it's safe when you add it to a little quantity so we're gonna add this quantity to the okwa okay keep boiling it this okwa is still cooking this will take time okay let's go ahead and sit in some crayfish. That's why I see, see why I see it. There's a sun, sun, sun. Okay. Let it boil and we add oil. I went ahead and added some beef, beef, chicken. It's done. Then I add Oh. Add oil. Okay. This is it. We see my and our okra is done. Okay. Here is it. Opa, opa, opa. It's done. I'll wait for it to pull again. Now package. Okay. Okay, guys. Here is finished product for today a greasy soup a bonus soup and beans the package i'm gonna go uh, keep them in my freezer so they will solidify so they can last for four days or so for shipment so here we go. I'm going to stop here tomorrow. I have two more to do and I will be done. That is masala soup and the okwa. I showed you okwa early. I'll do that tomorrow. Thank you. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. What are you waiting for?